Hey yo, it's your girl Kara Heather's Lighthouse. And tonight, I decided I wanted to shine some light on a category of astrology that I don't hear discussed very often in detail. And it is your progressed chart. So, if at any point you decide to dig in what I'm doing, go ahead and follow me over here on TikTok. And you can also like, share, and subscribe to me on YouTube. Boo, let's get it popping over there. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and dive into this. I wanted to cover um you know the topic of progress charts because it's not something that i hear talked of on spoken of on a regular basis and i feel like it is some information that could be very vital and helpful to whoever may be watching this video right now so if this interests you right off top and you don't see the full message over here on tiktok i strongly suggest you come over to youtube and see the full thing so you can get a better understanding you know well whatever I'm gonna give you, you know, <laughs> of this um, aspect of astrology. But anyway, I'll try to cover this as briefly as possible. Now, of course, if you're familiar with astrology and your birth chart, you know that your birth chart is vital to understanding, you know, the dis different aspects of yourself, your personality traits, life purpose, um, you know, your strong suits, you know, things that you need to work on, you know, developing, things of that nature. And the most important points of your birth chart are your personal planets, which are Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Mars, and your North Node. So with that being said, I discovered through an ad on YouTube, there was a woman speaking of, you know, your progressed moon sign. And that really uh, triggered an interest with me. So she made it a point to say that out of all the placements, your moon sign was the most important to make note of. Your progressed moon sign was the most important to make a note of, you know, as you aged and within your progress chart. And it is in my personal opinion and through my own research that I have found that your entire birth chart, the same as your initial, the day you were born birth chart, your progress chart, all those placements are just as important. Why? Because they will reflect the growth that you have achieved, you know, over the past few years of your life. How much have you evolved? What areas of your life have changed? And if you take a look at the example of your life that you are living right now, this chart will, you know, reflect the developments that you have made. I'll use myself as an example. I was born as a sun and rising Libra with the moon in Pisces. Over the past 30 plus years, I'm 32, over the past 30 years, I have progressed into the sign of Scorpio. With my progression into the sign of Scorpio, I have noticed a lot of changes within myself, not only in that, in the way that I love, you know, different aspects of myself, uh, the way that I communicate, just everything. And if I look at my initial birth chart in comparison to my progress birth chart that, you know, current up to date as of right now, I see a reflection of a lot of changes that took place in my life. Now, if you forget, if you get familiar with the different areas of your birth chart, of your progress birth chart, and how things actually work, uh, just you know, to make a long story short, I'm just giving this to y'all in general. The gist of it is, each individual sign has certain degrees that that when the, once the planet enters into a certain degree of that sign, that you will experience pivotal life changing events. You know. Um, changes in your spiritual values just they can mark you they, they can predict life-changing events also so what i noticed about my own chart is that with me transitioning from the sign of libra into scorpio specifically for the sign of scorpio the most impactful degree that it will reach is the degree of 20. i am in my 20th degree but prior to i was feeling the energetic shift then uh, which was expected. And how did this energetic shift, you know, uh, reflect itself in my life? My spiritual awakening. I've always considered myself to be, you know, a, an aware and sort of enlightened individual. <laughs> uh, you know, I was always curious about different cultures and religions, all that good stuff. But 
those when I was 28, I was about in the 17th, 18th degree of Scorpio, you know, transitioning. When I entered into this degree and got closer to the degree of 20, which is significant for the sign of Scorpio on your progress chart, right? Once I entered this sign, I began to notice that my old identity crumbled away. My previous existence, everything that I had established, all the, you know, I went to college, got married, uh, had a family, you know, I had established a, a successful at home business for myself, just all this good stuff. I thought I was headed in the right direction, but <laughs> little did I know and would I be left to realize very soon after is that that was not who I was, which I felt that then, you know, I knew I wasn't living uh, as my authentic self, but as my spiritual awakening began to kickstart and really jump off and, you know, take flight, I began to notice how I developed. Now, over the past three years, from 28 down to the age of, you know, I, I just made 32 this year, huh? I ain't ashamed. Anyway, I noticed that I have a, I have acquired a set of spiritual gifts that I did not have before once I entered into, you know, this degree of Scorpio. Um, I was over the course of my spiritual awakening, I was getting more in tune, you know, with my spiritual practices, my spiritual self. I was evolving, transforming, transforming as a person, right? And I also noticed where that change occurred for me in other areas in my life. Example, my Venus sign. I transformed from a Venus in Sagittarius to a Venus in Capricorn. Those are two very different energies. Capricorn is like a nurturer, you know, um, very loving uh, energy. It can, but on the opposite side of it, the shadow side can be rather dark. But Sag energy is your explorer energy. It's like your um, nomadic energy, you know. And in a with Sag and a Venus sign, you know, you fear commitment. And I realized that that had also changed about me in a very major way. It changed how I show love to others, how I show love to myself. To make a long story short, like I said, because I'm not going to hold y'all long on this. I suggest you go do your own research in regards to, you know, your progress chart. Because... The main thing I want y'all to know is the same way that they tell you to review your initial birth chart to get information about yourself, in my personal opinion, I believe that your progressed birth chart is far more revealing to you as a person now, you know, instead of basing it off of who you was from day one of your birth to see the progress that you have made. Have a better understanding of your strong suits, your spiritual gifts. You will be able to see where certain things played out in your life. You'll be able to see where maybe you went through a midlife crisis, uh, where maybe you experienced a major loss, or maybe you went through a major time of isolation or transformation within your life. It will also allow you to, you know, hone in on what your spiritual, how to actually use your spiritual gifts to your advantage in this current energy. Because it is a progress chart, it is up to date with the current astrology that is going on at this time. So it's gonna allow you to better navigate within the energies that we that change throughout the month with the new moon and the full moon. And another cool fact that I noticed, y'all know that I read tarot. <laughs> I've noticed that my new sun sign in Scorpio resonates with me and my experience and the things that I'm going through so much uh so much better there's so much more to the person that I have grown and evolved into um and not only that you know it's gonna help you get a better understanding you know if you're not uh if you don't know anything about astro cartography you need to look into that as well if you're looking and relocating and things of that nature you're progressed your progress birth chart is going to help you make uh, the best decisions whenever it comes to, you know, choosing a new location or places that you are vi that you should visit uh, that are on certain ley lines, you know, um, that are uh, going to benefit you energetically. Well, I hope that something that I said was helpful to you guys today. I know that I just breezed through, you know, some basics 
on your progress chart and you know my own personal ideology of it but i hope i hope it was helpful to you and that it triggered something within you to know make you want to go do your own research and if you do i hope you see that your girl know what she's talking about and that something there is valuable to you <laughs> until i see you next time bye bye